And ex-president Olusegu Obasanjo on Saturday paid a condolence visit to leader of the Pan-Yoruba group Afeniferi Pa Ayo Adebayo on the demise of the National Publicity Secretary of the group, Inka Udumaki. Obasanjo visited Pa Adebanjo at his Lagos residence to commiserate with him on the death of Udumaki. Before his death, Udumaki consistently condemned the activities of criminal herdsmen who have been accused of farmland destruction, rape, killings and abductions in the Southwest. Joining us to talk more on life and times of Yinka Odumaki is a close friend and ally, Jimmy Agbaje, former governorship candidate in Lagos State. Good evening, Mr. Agbaje, and thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Let's start by sending our condolences to you on the death of the Afeniferi spokesman. And please tell us more on the relationship you share with Yinka Odumaki. Well, um, let me say that uh, Yinka, of course, had been a student activist. We were not in the university together, so I won't say that we worked together. But I think our paths crossed um, just during the pro-democracy uh, struggle, coming into uh, the Fourth Republic, that's 1998, 1999. Um, Yinka was... Uh, very active in the pan-Yoruba groups. Uh, he was very active in Afeni Ferry. Uh, I, at that time, uh, at the stage, I was treasurer of Afeni Ferry. I was also the secretary of the political committee. And Yinka worked very closely. We worked very closely together. Uh, he also, of course, became the administrative secretary of Afeni Ferry before becoming the national publicity secretary of Afeni Ferry. On a personal note, when I first came out to run um, in 2007, Yinka was actually the director general of my campaign. So you can understand the kind of relationship we had. And uh, I believe that um, ever since then, we have uh, remained close. Uh, we've worked on different projects. Yinka was uh, a dogged fighter for Nigeria. Um, in Nigeria, you know, that of equity, of fairness, of justice. Yinka believed he was a patriot, a committed patriot. Um, so it is sad um, to lose him, very sad to lose him. And uh, the president described him as a dutiful man and a man of conviction. Now, what comes to your mind with this statement, knowing that uh, he once worked with the president uh, then as a candidate in 2011? Well, Inka was a man of conviction. And I, and I think the tributes, I mean, you can see even the past, the past presidents and the current president uh, in their tributes tells you the kind of person Yinka was. Yinka was a man of conviction. Once he believed in a cause, he put his everything to it. Um, and the moment he feels or he felt that you are no longer on the same page, he was quick to tell you um, where, to, where to jump off, so to say. Uh, so you can see that he's worked with three presidents. And, uh, and, uh, and I, I know that those presidents that have spoken have spoken from a personal relationship. Um, so Yinka never belonged to a political party. He never, even when he was my director general of the campaign, he didn't join the political party. He was clear that I believe in you, Jimmy Agbaje, and I'm going to support you to the very end, but I'm not going to play partisan politics. And the same thing when he was spokesperson for President Buhari, he never joined the party to the best of my knowledge, he, but he was the spokesperson because at that time, he believed that uh, President Buhari was the right person. Once he believed in something, he put his everything into it. And in the same way, the moment he changes, uh, he believes that it is not so, you can see him um, taking a clear position. You always knew where Yinka stood. There was no gray area. Um, and, and, and that was him. That was him. He was able to speak truth um, to power. He had no fears. He had a lion's heart, you know. And uh, like I said, uh, he was fearless. He was unwavering. Um, he walked his talk, he walked his talk. Some people misunderstood him. 
Uh, but I suppose time, now that he's gone, we can speak for him. And um, people will understand that he was a man of principle. He was the man who believed in Nigeria, who believed it was possible. In fact, Yinka died on, on duty. I think is the way I put it. He died on duty because he, he, he was still running across the length and breadth of this country, uh, trying to make Nigeria work, even with the pandemic. And, um, and of course, uh, that is just um, what has happened. Uh, he's really died on active service. It's unfortunate. We're going to miss him. Nigeria is going to miss him. Um, and any, anybody, you didn't have to be on his side, but you'd respect him for his views. And that's, that's Yinka for you. So what other lessons Give should... Okay. I'm trying to get from you, you know, what are the lessons the civil society community should learn from uh, his activities while he was here? I think the greatest lesson for, for, for Yinka was that he didn't get sentimental about his relationships. So you could be Yinka's friend, but on his principles, he would, I mean, if you went against what he believed in, he would tell you straight. And you could see that from his writings, from his releases. Uh, you can see that, in fact, from his relationship. How many people can really say that they had personal relationships with the three presidents, three different kinds of presidents. But Inca, for as long as there was a cause to fight for Nigeria, he would work with anybody, with anybody. Uh, there was a time you had, I mean, Inca was not, uh, in fact, they, there was no relationship with President Obasanjo. Uh, but then at the end, when he saw that they were on the same page, he was able to work with President Obasanjo the same way he worked with President Buhari as his spokesperson. But at his stage, you could see that he was one of the you know, greatest critics of uh, President Buhari. He also worked with President Jonathan at his stage, you know, when he believed that in, in the National Conference uh, for Nigeria, and President Jonathan was talking about the National Conference at that time, he was there. So I think the message is that he, what you saw was what he was. He didn't pretend, he didn't change. A lot of the civil society organizations today uh, blew some story before and um, are not able to tell the truth today. Yinka wasn't like that. Uh, so that's one great lesson for civil society, that the fact that you supported someone and you feel that person is no longer doing well, you must be able to tell the person is not doing well. And that was Yinka, he would tell you However close you were, however friendly you were, he would tell you, I'm sorry, on this, we're not together. And you are clear where he stands. And I think that's a message for civil society. Mm. Former governorship candidate of Lagos State, Jimmy Agbaji, thank you very much for coming on the news tonight. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.